Making a homemade helicopter is actually very simple. With simple materials, that you can get from garbage. You can assemble and come out with your own version of a homemade helicopter. In today's video we shall give you some basics of making a homemade helicopter from mainly scrapped metals. In this video we shall build a working model of a helicopter in full scale from start to end. First you will need light but strong metals. Aluminum is the best, because it is light, but iron metals can also work. And you will also need an engine. At first start the helicopter by assembling the frame from a metal shaped tube. It can be better when you start from down and go upward. Start by welding the landing gear. Then go on with the fuselage. You should avoid using many metals, as they can provide too much weight to the helicopter, making it unable to fly. After the frame base is ready then, weld the edge of the girder to it to which the propeller will be attached. Then weld another pipe to it for the tail. The main skeleton of the helicopter is ready, now we need to try on the engine. Supposedly we managed to find such engine. But the problem arises from here. How can we transfer the rotation of the lay shaft to the upright shaft of the helicopter propeller? This should work like this. We need a reduction gear that will transfer the rotation at 90 degrees. We will also make it from scrap metal, and all things we have managed to find in the dump. We need two corners, four identical bearings, and planetary cluster gears from the car differential, a pair of shafts and a case for bearings from the tube. We need to slightly reduce the pipe and diameter for tight pressing of the bearing. We will use the press to put the planetary cluster gear on the shaft. While the press fitting the gear itself cuts splines on the shaft. A retaining ring will be used for the fixation. The ready part must be pressed into the case with the bearing. On the other hand we need another bearing to strengthen the construction and get rid of the radial play. The second part will already contain a small planetary cluster gear which has no splines, in order it couldn't rotate on the shaft we made the slots for the roller spline on the details. We need a case for these two details which we will make from the angle.
welded the covers on the sides, and get an angular reduction gear. This is how the rotation will be transferred to the propeller with a reduction 1 to 2. We need to attach an asterisk on one of the shafts. We want to transmit the rotation to the angular gearbox from the engine through the circuit. The additional sprockets will be used as spacers. By the way it is possible to attach some additional equipment such as a generator to them. The reduction gear case will become a connecting link of two parts of the girder. Weld its case it to the earlier welded pipe. We will put the platform for the engine nearby, and immediately try it on. We fix the sprocket, and put on the circuit. It turns out that there is also a reduction 1 to 4, in total there are 3 reduction gears in the construction, and the total number is about 1 to 16, this is about 300 revolutions of the propeller, on condition that the engine produces 4000 revolutions per minute. Before testing we strengthened the girder as it dangled after a slight pressing on the circuit. Now we can start the engine and make a test. It seems that everything is alright at maximum speeds, the circuit doesn't fly off, and everything spins without any problem. That means we can move to the shaft extension of the angular reduction gear. The pipe will serve as the shaft. We have to sharpen the reduction gear shaft a bit, so the pipe could tightly fit it. We gradually welding, and straightening using a tripod. On the top of the pipe there will be an adapter rod. Further we put a casing from the pipe on the elongated shaft. We place the house bearing on top. We then start the engine, and check the rotation of the shaft. A swivel member from the midget car will serve as a bushing for the lifting air screw. It 
it will be perfect for air screw inclination. We saw all the excess from the detail. We sharpen the connector for the bushing and the reduction gear axis. The former swivel member should be attached to the girder, for this purpose we screw a pair of brackets to it. We also made a pair of brackets to attach the bushing to the girder. The bushing will be attached to the helm by means of levers, and the helicopter will be able to fly back and forward, depending on the way the air screw is inclined. The air screw itself will be made from a metal sheet as well as in the game. To stiffen the construction we saw two lingering from the shape tube. The paddles themselves will be attached to the brake disc through the tube. The rotor blade should be made in such a way that, they can follow the aerodynamics of air, for the helicopter to fly. The air screw turned out to be about 5 meters. We fix it on the bushing with the bolts. Since it won't be possible to control the paddle's inclination, we set them on takeoff much as possible. Supposedly as well as the character from the rust. We didn't know that it was possible, and made it according to the drawing, that we have found in the dump. We even wonder, whether it is possible to keep the height with such air screw design. We test the entire construction remotely as we are not sure about its reliability at all.